All right, here we go again. Um, we have this Ruger PC carbine in front of us, and it's just a big old mess of parts that we took apart. I'm going to go ahead and reassemble it for you today. Um, the first thing I'm going to put back together is our detent for the safety. If you remember that little guy that I warned you that will, not may, but will fly across the shop if you don't retain it somehow. I used to put my hand over it. But there's a small little hole down in the bottom of the plastic here um, but you can stick that down in fucking pliers are magnetized I don't know if you can see that or not but it sits down in there um, you will need to push that down so that you can get your safety back through when you push the safety back through make sure that it's rolled up like this on its side so it doesn't fall and don't twist it this way you'd be damn near impossible to get it back out if you do uh, make sure it stays like that um, but i'm going to slide it in here and what i will uh see if i got mine here handy where did it go you can use a a, a starter punch a roll pin starter punch or some sort of cup tip punch because there's a little you know that that, that detent's got a point to ride inside the, the little grooves but put that on there it'll make it easier to compress so it doesn't slide off your punch and just kind of push it over um, and once you've got it started and set it up there then you can go back in with your your other little punch and, and get it to to line up remember rotate it forward so that, that flat goes up like that and now you should have safe fire safe fire the other thing let's see what we easiest to put in next we will put in this little guy this little pin come from this way and this is the the bolt lock bolt stop whatever a little spring rides inside that little hole there and take that guy and stick it in there and just push that in and push the pin so that it's it's flush pretty simple from there we need to put the um, trigger back in but we need to put it back together first so we have a trigger plastic and you have your sear and the sear will slide down it, these two rings they're you know this thing is injection molded or MIMS rather, no, yeah, metal injected molded, but those two rings there will fit inside the recesses on the trigger, the plastic trigger, and you'll see that. Pop that in there, and take your, your the disconnector spring, I guess they're calling that, seared spring, disconnector spring, whatever. Stick it in there, and you'll need to compress that spring And I'm trying to remember, oh, you got to get the, uh, the tail of this disconnector will fit underneath the sear, like so. Um, that's, it's kind of a pain in the ass because the spring's going to want to go weeble waddling all over the place and come in and come out. So, what we're going to do, like I've said many times gunsmith glue except this is just a, a, a petroleum jelly um, a Vaseline basically um, I have found works immensely better um, it's got more consistency than that uh, calcium grease I was using it's 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 a little bit thicker and holds up better um, it's, it's stick activity if you've got some kind of bearing grease that works even better because you're using so so little of it but we're gonna you know bigger the gob bigger the what is it bigger the job bigger the gob something like that I don't know whatever man put some of that shit in there and then take your spring and slide it in and that way it stays while you're trying to fuck with all this put that in there and actually We'll do it this way. We're going to start it that way. I'm going to put that 
that disconnector and kind of try and hold on to it as I slip it in heel. <laughs> and squeeze it down. So, yeah, there we go. That worked. Then we're going to take that and we're going to stick it back into our trigger housing. And slide that pin through there, like me. Ah, son of a diddly. Um, before you go and do something stupid, remember the return pressure is done by this detent and spring, which we've got to make every attempt to not lose in the process. So this spring doesn't try running out on you too bad. Um, it's it's pretty simple to manage, but we'll get a trigger line back up here, and it all stays pretty well in place. It's not that hard to fight that spring, but yeah, get your pin in like so, and it'll work. We're gonna take our hammer strut and its spring and all that. We're gonna stick that down down in yonder hole. It makes no difference as long as it's able to fit inside of this running groove here it's all that matters so we'll stick it out in here Get in there. no that'll go in there put the hammer in first dipshit um hammery side we'll go in here and we'll take our big hammer pin and stick it in there push that forward there we go now we can stick our strut in there and do some pliers and... come on you fuck face there we go get that lined up there we're not bastard what is your fucking problem I am not in the hole there is a little bit of a, a hole you've got to make sure that this thing's back there in um, on the back so when the hammer cocks that strut can ride through it I don't know if you saw that or not um, there you can cock it back and put it back on safe so you don't actually bump that but trigger housing and all that shit's back together there let's put our bolt back together um, first thing that needs to happen is we need to put our tungsten weight back in the hole the, that, That's for the firing pin that'll face up. So take and drop it in like that Take our firing pin and its spring And slide it in there And it will protrude out of the back ever so slightly Then we can take our bolt face with a little nubby thing and we will stick it in here like so push just far enough back to slip these pieces in next will be the extractor so big spring goes there extractor goes there look down there line the hole up with your pin and Line the hole up for your pin and fucking line your hole up for the pin. God damn it. So, yeah, it goes in like that. Um, if you turn this upside down and especially pushing this bolt face these things are just going to fall right the hell out so keep that in mind before you go getting pissed at yourself this guy sliding up front here we'll recoil spring set it down here so when the spring goes launching it hits the camera and you put your little buffer pad on there and you're just going to slide your little C-clip thing right over it and capture it. That's all back together. And we're 
going to slide all that bullshit back into the bolt. So, recoil assembly. Now what we need to do is put the pin spring, and um, this is for the bolt stop. Um, it will only go in one way. Um, usually I'm doing it the wrong way. But, let's see. I say it only go in one way, but call me a fucking liar. Spring pushes up there. No. It's gotta go in this way. No, that ain't right. Hey, it only go in one anyway. If you try and stick it in there upside down, it'll point way the fuck up like this. Because this is up. And it, it just won't do what it's supposed to do. So it goes in like that. And there. But, you gotta put your spring thing in. Stick that in there. Again, I'm upside down. And we will. Yep, there you go. Drop it in. So, back side here, we're going to stick that. It's got grooves. So, pretty simple. It'll drop right in. Uh, going back to what I said before, I, I think this is a QC problem with Ruger. This thing only had the three screws in it. Now maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe it's only supposed to have two out of the three. But I believe it's supposed to have all three and it didn't. Um, brand new out of the box. Um, the only other option is that the customer's lying his ass off and then he started fucking with it before it got to me. Which is entirely possible, but you never know. Um, I've seen dumber shit coming out of Ruger lately that wouldn't surprise me if they just straight fucked this up. The other thing that wants me to say that is that there's no... There's not even marks on the inside of this receiver to indicate that a screw's ever been tightened up against it. You know, usually when you tighten a screw, I don't know, let's poke this one out here. Usually when you tighten a screw up against aluminum, you know, a steel screw against aluminum, you're going to get a, a a mark of some sort, a little ring or something, kind of indicating that it had happened. Maybe not. Because they don't go in that tight. They don't, they don't need to. But... Yeah, I don't know, man. That one's not really making a ring either. So, I don't know. Who knows? Either way, the screw ain't there. Um, is it detrimental? Probably not, man. This thing's a 9mm. But, still. The easiest way to put this back together is to... drop it in like so and slide it forward and then just take your 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 little recoil buffer the rubber buffer and just let it slide in there um, your charging handle again screws in yeah And our trigger group will go back in it. Right. Mirror. Like so. Yeah, I knew there was a hole there somewhere. Put some fur right it. Didn't have it snapped in all the way. There we go. I'm just sitting here. Last round holdover or something? That's exactly what that is. Okay. This this is the, the last round hold open. I was really trying to figure out what the hell that was and why it was there because it doesn't match up with what I was talking about in this bolt hold. Um, the manual hold open. And that is because this is for... Um, the magazine, when the magazine well is in this little monstrosity of a gun, it's sitting there. Uh, no, maybe. Hmm. It's got to be. I mean, that's got to be what it's there for, right? So does it sit farther back 
here. The magazine well, I bet you it does. The magazine well sits way farther back here. Or about there. Hmm. Yeah, that's what that is. That's a last round hold up. Yeah, that's what's going on. So this little tit here in the magwell um, rides up and down. And what it does is when the, when the follower of the magazine kicks that, it pushes this bar up appropriately. Yeah. That's what that is. It's the last round of hold open. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I was doing for a second. Um, interesting. This is all hollowed up. I wonder why that is. I wonder if this is some sort of weight reduction. Or is there something else going on? Because there's the action screw. Where, I mean, when you tighten the this back end of the, the, the stock. What was all this shit? I wonder. Is it weight saving or what? I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull that up. No. Ah, fuck you. Stick that back in there like so. Ah, ha, 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 I'm an idiot. I'm so concerned on... A thread, asshole. Take your magazine well. This orientation, remember, push your little dealy there, and it'll drop right in. That's what locks it in. It seems kind of janky until you realize that once it's in the gun, it's all seated down and, and pretty well held in place by these action screws, anyways. It's just a way to semi retain it while it's not out. Um, pretty slick little design, really. Uh, like I said, I hope they make a 45 and a 10 mil version. More a 10 mil than a 45. I think they, they should dump 40 all together. That should just go away. That, 40 should just go away. It's it's garbage. Um, yeah. Don't start at me in all, any of this blah blah power and blah blah this and yeah, whatever man. It's a... It's a garbage cartridge. Um... Stick that in there. Put that back together like so. Little, you don't have to crank the shit out of these. They they, they stay together pretty well, it seems. Um, oh yeah, when you're putting it back together, you gotta lock, lock the bolt back too. When you're putting it back together or else you're gonna get that. Bang, that was the. Um, but yeah, that barrel nut thing there, you can tighten that up so it's, it's you know, there's no play in it at all. So, pretty cool little gun overall, I think. Um, like I said, this is only the second or third time I've been inside of one. They are, they're, they're simplistic, they're easy. Um, I think they're cool guns, I think they have a great potential. Um... The, I think somewhere I read that this thing is supposed to have like the rear ring mounts like for mounting optics. This one's a Picatinny rail, so I don't know if this is more an updated kind of thing. When somebody was like, why would you put rear ring attachment points on this gun when everybody wants to run Picatinny stuff? So they got smart and put Picatinny shit on it. But the ghost ring sight's pretty simple. 
straightforward. Um, they are fully windage and elevation adjustable. It's kind of a pain in the ass. You gotta unscrew a little Allen head and, and then kind of get it and then tighten it down a little bit. And then same thing for elevation. You gotta do it, but you can do them individually without upsetting one or the other, which is a uh, the older style that was like this didn't work very well. Um, but that's all there is to it. Uh, missed anything? Questions, concerns, bitches, grapes, whatever you can put down in the uh, the comments box there. Give me a like, share it, subscribe, you know, share me. Do what you gotta do. Thanks for watching, guys.